tactical 40k while we're waiting for our additional units for the raven guard army that we're putting together um i'm going to keep going in one of the things we need is a table unless i'm going to take them around but i want to do a table it goes for other aspects of the channel that we're building here and you can see the taco bell so i'm not at, i'm not going to taco bell we're actually going to go to lowe's and we'll start building our own customized gaming table which can be utilized for a lot of other things but for the with regards to the channel we're going to make the, what i consider oh maybe not the ultimate but probably put it up there as one of the better or it's going to be custom in my mind be one of the better uh gaming tables and it's what it it's not going to be fixed like you've seen a lot of other guys that are building tables and they're building the terrain on there well we're going to utilize what i i call it not just a gaming table it's going to be a terrain model which <clears throat> we want to be able to uh manipulate and create various battle fields and uh or and and whatnot so we're going to do it as a generic and then we're going to uh, a generic table with some cool little attributes to it we'd like to make it mobile we'd like to make it sturdy we'd like to make it where you like you can set up armies fairly nice you can put drinks you can roll dice you can uh have a place to you know put your books or whatever it is you need also a place to you know maybe put a camera so we can actually watch what's going on and easily you know show you around the train um so i'm designing one right now and at lowe's we can get you know the base you know it's going to be based on wood and we're going to make it so that we can put mats on and then realign different trains because we'd like to do more what they call i guess in the 40k world narrative but we're going to do like i said this is a tactical 40k it's going to be based not only on building lists the uh unique list like this raven guard thing but also uh teaching some military tactics and order giving through this and um going through scenarios or whatnot so i guess being like narrative play but the table itself um is going to be fairly large like i said it's going to have places to put drinks you know roll dice do other things uh roll uh put out mats which we're looking at um right now like a frontline gaming you're probably familiar with they have some really cool mats put that and then getting various trains from you know different manufacturing uh companies a lot of people that do uh train they're super nice that they look super great so you can set up like a patrol base scenario or a comm scenario or you know all different kinds of um you know ruined buildings we like right now is a good time to uh when we do the militarist of uh, militaries uh, the uh the order giving in and running through scenarios you can build uh war-torn cities and all kinds of stuff so we're that's what we want to do we also want to make this table where we can put additional tables against it to make it even bigger that's one of my things but trying to design it that way might be a little bit of challenge this first one we might just do um a little bit bigger it'd be bigger than the uh 40k um uh, parameters so we can run a bunch of different stuff but uh but maybe it won't be interoperable with other tables but it will be nice and i got to be able to fit it in my current living room and then maybe also put some lighting on it uh whatnot uh you know in order to because the lighting in that living room that i have is not not very good where i'm at right now but anyway the table's gonna be cool like I said, we're waiting on some units now. Like I said, I've tweaked my Raven Guard unit because, you know, money-wise, buying all new stuff is just incredibly expensive. So I haven't gotten into my elite slots, which we'll, we'll get into. Um, but, like, I just did, I think we did fast attack where it's suppressors and uh, I think we're going to throw some inter interceptors in there. But I can, well, let's go into my elite slots. Let's just do that. So it's going to be heavily, you know, Vanguard vets because that's what Raven Guard is, is a very quick, supposed to be surgical strikes quick strikes in the shadows uh nothing says that more than vanguard vets getting up in your face with lightning claws and storm shields um and i think when i put a couple of thunder hammers in there just just to have it you know just to have it there so we can put some real damage on it if we get into some uh vehicles or whatnot um what else do i have i'll probably go in a deeper video on this so that i'm just shooting this out there because it's like four minutes let's just was might as well just go into it what else did I have on that elite? So yeah, Vanguard Vets. I had Terminator Squad, and I think I had um, Assault Centurions, at and uh, and then a Champion. Why do I have a Champion? Well, <clears throat> some of these units I'm putting in there are actually 
they're really good units, but they're there to draw attention to you, like a champion. Like, the champion is, a, he's a boss, man, for whatever, 70 points, plus whatever buffs I put him on. He, the dude is all time, you know, he's he's going to, but he's going to draw a lot of attention, so is the Terminator Centurions, and hopefully um, put that, like, a bulwark of really hard to kill, really good melee units in whatever we're going to call our center of gravity in the army as we advance over the board, hopefully drawing attention to um, to players to go after that while we can utilize our Raven E-Guard tactics to score. Because I keep thinking, you know, I and I, I'm guilty of this, I haven't played an earlier version of, of just going out to kill units. So I was, you know, so now that's one of the reasons I'm tweaking besides money. It's like, well, we got to score points. We got to stop them from scoring and also score points. We got to utilize our uh, objectives, our secondary objectives, which Raven Guard has a decent one that is in the Nephilim pack. Um, and then, and then, uh, be able to, um, be able to utilize that tag, that secondary objective. <coughs> um, and uh, score some points. So you couple the, Ra the Raven Guard secondary objective with some other ones, and you can rack up some decent points. One of the the secondary objective <coughs> that they have allows you to pretty much do the whole sabotage, which is a stratagem on a objective markers, which is cool. But anyway, so we're gonna have those elite units, which I like I said, champion, um, I believe Centurions and Terminators, which I might you know just double up on one of those. I like I did the Terminators because. I don't know. I just did it points wise, and I figured those are enough to like draw people's um, draw people's eyes to. They're like, okay, oh, and I think I put an apothecary in there. So if you throw those guys up there, yeah, I did. So you put those guys in the center. You throw the apothecary, which I'm kind of debating on where I want to deploy them. I guess it depends on what army, because you have those units. They're going to be pushing up up there, or maybe you deep strike them, whatever the case may be. They're you know drawing fire. Um, in, in, into that'd be like a center of gravity for us which would be a very bulky units that are there yeah maybe they'll score points but they're there to really control an area to draw the fire from a large army and uh, uh, uh they're let's be honest going to be a superior fighting force uh than than us when it comes to just basic tactics like i was watching a couple of uh 40k videos about ranking armies um, space marine armies or space marine chapters one imperial fists are always they, they seem to be kind of been thrown to the wind i guess but they're always on the bottom is raven guard and um so we got to recognize that and that's one of the reasons i picked them is because they the, i like that the, their lore and ta the tactics they have but also because they're bottom tier army and i want the challenge of putting them together um, and seeing if we can competitively compete in some local events or and then maybe more so we're going to have to understand that we are going against superior fighting forces which is not which is not a bad thing if you you go into it understanding that from a military perspective so you need to really utilize your um your centers of gravity in this case i'm referring to your tactics your your um positives um, which for Raven Guard is infiltrating <coughs> and um, and being hard to hit or strike from the shadows and infiltrating, um, <coughs> surgical striking and all that jazz, even though there's not, you know, the meta is not really holding true to that at the, at the moment that that's it's such a successful way to go about. But understanding that and understanding your enemy's strengths is going to be key. So it depends, a lot of this, I'm bringing this list kind of as a warning, we're going to call it, it is a warning order. So it's just like a general order telling you to be prepared for the next thing. And as we go into those battles, we're going to have what they call fragmentation orders or, or whatever their combat orders. And that's going to be, you know, those enemy specific type deals. So then we'll judge our tactics and how we're going to do things based on that. But for now, this is what I'm, I'm really utilizing. So our elites, a lot of those are going to be Yes, there are going to be main efforts in there. Um, being Vanguard vets, being um, in particular. But we have, uh, once again, some more supporting effort units that are there. to con Their mission is to control certain areas in order to allow these other units to get around the board to 
get on objectives to set those sabotage or you know you know, based on whether you know, whether that whether that be um you know that um secondary objective which allows you to do it or the stratagem get up there get on those objectives secure them set those charges get points while you can and let the enemy come get close get engaged then um let's see what they do if they take us out then they also are going to get a little dirty dusting of what i like to call like a c like uh like c4 charge or maybe whatever you want to whatever you want to call it some kind of uh, um tactical charge is set in place for them as they come upon the, the the objectives so i mean that's kind of the strategy i'm here and then you know we got to look at these other secondary objectives for our, for space marines and really kind of tie those in because that's going to be key is on you know utilizing those and setting your 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 objectives for your mission so that's another thing like we're going to tie this in the military stuff is having you know you have sec you have objectives secondary objectives and understanding that when you set your army out when you're d developing what you want to do that those those are the objective is to get to those things that's, that's the mission so let's set it up let's set the army up let's set the tactics up let's deploy the army and let's utilize them in those in those regards not focusing on just killing the other the other side but I'll, one yes interdicting them stopping them from their mission their objectives so we need to understand what their objective is but two um completing ours so you'd have your first your prim primary objective would be to achieve your objectives the secondary one is to block interdict or whatever you want to whatever operating term you want to use the um the opposing force so and hopefully in the end of the in the five rounds or less yeah, you, you'll be okay but let's face it, Raven Guard is a tough army to play and be competitive. So like I said, it's imperative that we understand that, that we develop the army around that. So we'll see. And they might not be the best. And a lot of people might watch this and be like, well, maybe you should take these. Maybe you should take aggressors. Maybe you should do this. Maybe you should do that. And maybe so. Maybe. But we're going to find out. We are going to find out. Oh, in my elite slots, I've been toying around... Uh, because we need some firepower a little bit, so I was looking at you know a speeder or like a thunder strike or something like that with some with which would also be another unit that's going to really draw some fire. But if you can get a couple shots off, you, know, you might be able to take out some bigger targets. But I don't know about that one. As stuff starts coming in, we'll figure out how we're going to put it, this stuff in the list and utilize it. Then once we get the table up, we might run out some scenarios against some smaller units. Just see how <coughs> things go. And then we'll find, we'll take them and probably go and um, challenge some people and see what happens. But anyway, further on going into this table build um, after this. So peace.